CNBC TV 18 Weekender. Welcome back. You're watching CNBC TV 18 Weekender. We have with us veteran filmmaker Sham Benegal. Talking about Sham Benegal's side three films that you started in 1967, uh, technically brilliant. Your movies were always had a political or a social theme. The women characters were treated very sensitively and women issues repeatedly showcased. Uh, was this that you had thought of? Uh, would that be your filmmaking style? No, I don't think there was any conscious effort. Hmm. But by and large, the kind of stories I dealt with usually seemed to be, you know, centered on women. Yeah. And I never consciously thought that uh, this was actually happening as it was, mm. as it did, as it continues to. Yeah. Uh, I think largely, perhaps, because Indian women, you know, are very strong. And uh, when I say strong, it means they really are the foundations foundational strength of Indian society. Mm. So there is a certain kind of strength in Indian women that one sees from the time you're born almost. You know, it, it starts with your mother and it starts with other women around you. Later on, of course, when I look back, I say yes, but that's because the, the basis is from our society itself. Indian society is like that because our women are, they are forced to be strong. Let me put it that way. Yeah. I mean, they may not necessarily want to be, yeah. but they're forced to be strong. What do you have to say about the kind of films that are being made today? And I'm talking about the 100 crore rupee and the 700 crore rupee clubs. Um, does it bother you in a manner that uh, how we are evaluating the success of a film today? And do you worry about the economics of a film? No, was it ever different from this? It wasn't. It was always like that. You see, the fact is, that when you make films that cost a lot of money, hmm. they also require to be publicized in the same way. You have to publicize it, you have to see that the nature of your publicity reaches large enough numbers of people, hmm. so it should attract them to the film, because you have to recover that cost. Yeah. You have these very big films that are being made, are not only in the Indian market, they are also then also are an international market because you see Indian films today, the South Asian diaspora has become an extremely important uh, market for Indian cinema. Yeah. Because I have a feeling today that North Africa has become part of Indian cinema market. Okay. And I think West Africa, which always, always was to some extent uh, a very valuable uh, market for us. And then you have South Africa and then some parts of East, East Africa. Yeah. And now th there are places, even in Latin America, for instance, you know, in the smaller countries, in places like Bolivia, Colombia, and so on and so forth, and, and certainly Venezuela, and Trinidad, etc., et yeah, yeah. which are uh, markets for Indian films. So, you know, you, it has been extending over a period of time. The markets have been extending, and obviously, you see, they would prefer to see the kind of uh, big films yeah. that go from here rather than the small films. With the rise of YouTube and young filmmakers uh, turning to short films, uh, do you think more people are daring to do unconventional subjects? You know, you've seen uh, short films like Aligarh, I'm sure you follow a lot of short films. Do you feel that there's a change happening now? People want to try unconventional subjects? You see, this has been happening for some time, but now I think there is a a substantial number hmm. of filmmakers, particularly young filmmakers, who are trying to make what one might call films that they really want to make. This is a wonderful uh, movement. This the is a wonderful seen, thing yeah. that's happening. So you have younger filmmakers who are making wonderful films, and some of them have also been commercially very successful. Hmm. And this has been so not just, you see, because Hindi, we only seem to think that Hindi cinema is Indian cinema. Yeah. Actually, Hindi cinema is a very small part of Indian cinema. Yes. The largest part of Indian cinema are the films that are made in the South. Yeah. You know, Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, Kannada. Those are the films which contribute the largest number of Indian films. Hmm. You know, you do have films in Punjabi, Gujarati, and all that yeah, sort of thing, yeah. Northeast. But those, the films from the South, which constitute the largest number of films in it, made in India, those are the ones you will see that in that area also 
you find a lot of filmmakers who make small intimate kind of films which are very very good on that note it's time for a short break but don't go anywhere as we find out Sham Benegal's take on censorship freedom of expression and much more stay tuned CNBC TV 18 Weekender 